posted the highest totals for this upcoming season are ten and a half. Right, that's mm-hmm. the highest totals. So you got to go what eleven and one right, yeah. in these games in order to hit the over. All right, there are one, two, three, four, five teams have ten and a half as their win total. If you want to go bet it in college football, correct? College football. Five teams have ten and a half. Ten and a half. Ohio, Ohio, Michigan. Ohio State. Ohio State is ten and a half. They're going to be the number one team in the country. What? Michigan. You remember? Uh, Coach is gone. They did lose their coach. Georgia. That, Michigan is nine and a half. Okay. So they're lower. Yeah, Georgia. Right. Georgia, ten and a half. Yeah. So Ohio State, Georgia. Uh, Texas. Ten and a half. Yeah. Quinn Ewers is back. Yep. Yeah. And um, Arch Manning is right <laughs> behind him. And Arch Manning is waiting in the wings. Uh, uh, Washington uh, lost their coach. Washington lost their coach. I don't believe. Oh, Florida State. Florida State is nine and a half. Uh, yeah, who? I'm going to say Alabama, but I don't. Alabama know. is nine and a half. Yeah, I didn't think they'd be oh. ten and a half. Ole Miss. No, no Ole, Ole Miss is not going to be ten. Ole and Miss half. is nine and a half. Or John. How about that? Right. Oregon, ten and a half. What's Oregon's ten and a half. Yep. They lost their quarterback. Yep. Bro, they Rose got it. two. The system, bro. No, they brought in two, right? They got Dylan Gabriel and uh, yeah. the kid from UCLA. That's fair. Dante uh, Moore. Is that his name? Dante Moore? One it. more. You've got Georgia, Ohio State, Oregon, Texas, and there's one other team that is posted with a 10.5 win. And they're a powerhouse. Oh, yeah. They're, Oak, they're Oklahoma, big, uh, big name. Oklahoma is They're not. a big name. The LSU. Year. Yeah, LSU is good. LSU is nine and a half. LSU is nine and a half. Uh, it's not Penn State, is it? I, w- I will tell you, I was surprised by this. You were surprised by it? Okay. Yes. So it's not one of those. But like, it is a powerhouse. It's name. not an upper echelon powerhouse. It's well, like uh, they've been in the playoff. I think so, they were in the playoff two years ago. So that should help you. Who was in the play? Clemson? Clemson is nine and a half. Yeah, they, they hate transfers. Uh, yeah, they do hate transfers. They were in the playoff. It's not Oklahoma. Notre Dame? Notre, Notre Dame. Dame. Okay. Wow. Ten and a half. Shout out to their coach. How man. about that? I didn't think of Notre Dame. How it's, about that? Ten and a half. So it's Georgia, Notre Dame, Ohio State, Oregon, Texas. I mean, if you want to bet on any of those, you got to bet that they lose less than two games. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. I'd actually do that with Georgia. How about this? Georgia's going to be so awesome next year. How about year. this? SEC wise, LSU is nine and a half. Uh, Missouri, nine and a half. Luther Burden. Ole Miss, nine and a half. Ooh. Tennessee, nine and a half. That is some massive wow. win totals. For the I SEC, so that's a, yeah, they got to beat up each other, don't they? Well, they're playing so more conference games, yeah. aren't they, next year? They're playing more conference because they uh, add Texas and Oklahoma. So, how about this, too? Uh, the first full week of the upcoming college football season is going to have a Saturday triple header. That's good. So, ESPN did a. Uh, they did like this in v- advertisers meeting yeah. in New York. And so they announced it as part of that for their week zero and week one. They showed like in their presentation. And so that's how it all broke. But the August 31st matchup uh, is going to have Notre Dame versus Texas A&M. So look, uh, and that's going to be that Mike Elko who's now who left Duke and is now the A&M coach. Uh, Notre Dame, Texas A&M is a pretty damn good yeah, game, cool the non conference game, game uh, to start. And then it says the other Saturday week one games are Clemson versus Georgia in Atlanta Ooh, at noon that's, Eastern. So it's an 11 a.m. game. But they're going to be 50 I'm to 0. Georgia 50 to is going to, I think Georgia is going to beat the piss out of everybody this Me too. year. They're that's going whole- to be so mad. About last season. Hold on a second. Let's see here. They basically got a home game, bro. Uh, a home game against Clemson. Georgia versus Clemson in the first game of the season. And Georgia at, may have the Heisman Trophy winner at quarterback. Yeah, they're going to beat the crap They out may of have bro. the best player in the country at quarterback. That smells like 45 to 21, Verno. Yeah, uh, 20. <laughs> you, how's Clemson scored 21? <laughs> scored 40, 45, 45 to 10. 45, yeah. That, that smells like 40. Yeah. You, guys, they get you, a guys think, you guys think it's a problem for Dabo? 
Yeah, because yes. Dabo still hates transfers. He still like does not understand what's going you on. Try, right. You want to you try to take a stab at the line? It's posted. The line I, 20, I got it. 24 and a half. The line's already up? Yeah. Uh, I say you bet on it right now. 17 and a half. 24 and a half, Georgia. You say Georgia is 20 what? 24 and a half. Oh, for Clemson? I say yeah. 17. If it's anything under three touchdowns, I'm hammering Georgia. Yeah. 13 and a half. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yes. Easy money. Yes. Rudy Gobert. My God. Rudy yes. Gobert. Rudy Gobert. Holy crap. Jump on that right now. Easy money, bro. They are, bro, they are going to beat the piss out of them. <laughs> yes. The Chris Vernon Show, presented by Caesars Sportsbook, live weekdays at noon.